I was there to win the 98 All-Ireland, win the back-to-back -back and bounce. That was it. Well, you see, a lot of people ask me, what do you remember about the 90s? And I just say two things, Michael Jordan and Gerald McNair. Gerald McNair, in essence, was the very first sporting celebrity the GA ever had. Oh, Gerald McNair, that dude was tough. Oh, you know, I remember his first training session with us, you know, and he came in and he said, Dale, I said, on show. And he gave me an awful bit in the dressing room, so he did, you know. But that was the man, you know, you did it because you loved hurling, you know. You know, he was on real tough on us, you know. I remember being uh, led to train him one night and he gave me an awful bit, and so he did. And then the following night, then I was too early for training, he said, and he gave me an awful bit that night again. I wouldn't mind, he was the one driving me to training. <laughs> Yeah, after 97 now, Jerry, he became bigger than the GA. I mean, he had his own boot, or, or Wellington, I should say, was at the airlock now, I remember. Um, I remember I turned the TV on one night and he was, he was wrestling with Hulk Hogan. Before the, the, the All-Ireland semi-final replay in 98 against Offaly, himself and Dalo went to Vegas. Me and Dalo needed to release a bit of steam, so we went down to Vegas, right? Made up with a couple of friends. Dennis Rodman, Carmen Electra, you know, the usuals. We must have spent 40, 50 pounds that week, yeah? The credit union is still after us. Oh, I remember he gave me an awful bait and down the Las Vegas Strip one night, you know? Anyway, with a heavy night in Vegas, right? I wake up on the floor of a hotel room. Daly's over there, Dennis Rodman's over there, right? And Michael Jordan busts in looking for Dennis, right? Dennis was apparently supposed to play a big match. So he starts mouthing at me anyway, right? And I was in no mood to listen to Jordan at this stage, right? And I told him, I said, listen now, Jordan. I said, it's not Magic Johnson you're talking to now, right? And I suppose that's when all hell broke loose in the room, really, and you know? all. Anyway, myself and Michael Jordan went at it in the middle of the room. Oh, sweet suffering, yes. Cam and Electra jumped in behind the couch, eh? Did Dalo at least jump in for you? Jumped, oh, he jumped in, all right. Jumped in under the bed. Daly was always gutless, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Anyway, I ended up chinning Jordan. <gasps> I laid him out like a yoga mat. Absolutely. I said, Daly, get out from under the bed. I says, we're going home. You know, myself and Davy Fitz went down to his house two days later and we said, Jor, we need you to stay. You know, you are Claire Hurling. Please don't go, you know, and we begged him, really. You know, honestly, I wasn't patrolling, Raj, but when Dalo and Davey came down and said all that stuff to me, that touched me, do you know what I mean? And I got very emotional and I said, I'd stay. It really was a beautiful moment. I'll never forget it. And all I can remember then, he unleashed on the two of us, you know, he gave us an awful bait in the room then, you know what I mean? And that was it, that was the man, he loved the hurling, you know. Winning comes at a prize, Raj. And that's how I manage teams. And if you don't want to play with me, don't play with me, right? Just listen, I need a break. <laughs> 